How is Union Minister Ashwini Vaishnav ji? Ashwini ji, Namaste, Jai Hind. Thank you for speaking with us here at CNN News Namaste. 18. I am Anand Narsimhan. Ashwini ji, your first thoughts on the Sankalpatra of the BJP. See, this uh, Sankalpatra basically lays out the vision for the next five years and a, uh, uh, for uh, for the next 25 years and a very clear action plan for the next five years. This is built upon the 10 years record, 10 years performance of Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji's government and it is built on a vision which will take us to 2047. This basically covers each and every social group in a society, each and every segment of a society, each and every sector of our economic and cultural life. So it's a very comprehensive manif manifesto, it covers, it touches everybody and it gives a very clear roadmap towards our next five years. The criticism coming from the opposition is that you are promising bullet trains which have not yet uh, come to manifest while you have ignored the core aspects of expenditure or inflation and also unemployment. How would you respond to this, sir? Absolute, absolutely not. We are very clearly at multiple places, in multiple ways, what we have done for increasing employment and what we are going to do for further increasing employment. It has been very clearly written in the manifesto. Those people who are commenting on it may not have read it. And that is the nature of Mr. Rahul Gandhi and his team, which basically doesn't read. They just simply make comments based on some consultant who comes and gives them something. So hmm. it has to be properly seen in that context, number one. Number two, in the last 10 years, we have clearly seen how employment is growing both in the manufacturing sector as well as because of the investment made in the infrastructure hmm. sector. In services, manufacturing as well as infrastructure, there is a significant growth in the last 10 years and it's all leading to employment and that is going to grow at a much more rate, much hmm. higher rate in the coming five years. Hmm. India will become a global manufacturing hub based on the work which has been done in the last 10 years. I can give you multiple examples. Many of these examples are noted in the manifesto. Hmm. Electronics manufacturing was practically negligible 10 years ago. Hmm. Today it is 100 billion dollar plus and the way it is growing at a double digit CAGR, it will become a major employer in the coming five hmm. years we will become among the top countries in the world in the sectors that we have selected to focus on. Hmm. Bullet train also the progress is very good, already about 290 kilometers work is already done. Despite so much obstacles created by the government of Mr. Uddhav Thakre ji, still so much work is already done. Of course, after his government got uh, removed the work started in uh, in Maharashtra also, <coughs> so time has come because entire country is demanding it. So time has come for starting the work on next three corridors. One will be in east, one will be in south, and one will be in north. The existing project is in west. Hmm. The the aspect of jobs, job creation. The allegation made by uh, the Congress party specifically is that the manifesto of the BJP or BJP Sankalpat mentions jobs only twice. Whereas the Congress manifesto openly promises 30 lakh sarkari nokris plus 1 lakh stipend for educated youth and also 50% reservation for young girls in jobs. Uh, so this is the and where is the government's vision here? Because the government seems to be a little cagey about putting about any numbers or the, especially the BJP. No hard numbers of what you will actually deliver. Last 10 years clearly have demonstrated what we have delivered. Last 10 years have shown what has been, what can be done. This is the base on which we are building. This is the base on which we are building. Unlike the Congress government which had no base despite ruling this country for 60 years. That is the reason, that is the clear contrast, stark contrast that the people are able to see. People have seen it. I have recently, I was working in uh, Madhya Pradesh. Hmm. People have seen the difference which has come in their lives. Ji. On employment, we have given a very comprehensive, clear action plan. This action plan is based on employment in government, 
where we have demonstrated a clear transparent recruitment system in which throughout the 10 years government jobs have been filled consistently. In the last one year itself almost 10 lakh jobs have been given through the Rojgar Melas and in a very transparent way the exam has been conducted. Hmm. In the manufacturing sector which is a very big employer we have given a clear roadmap for, make, for making India a global manufacturing hub. In investment in infrastructure hmm. this investment creates so much employment that also is very clearly visible in the last 10 years and we have take we will take it to a next level in the next 5 years hmm. through self employment we have demonstrated using pm swanidhi through pm mudra and a variety of other programs of training and skilling through which self employment opportunities have increased hmm. what we have done congress cannot even think of that hmm. But Ashwini ji, if more than 25 crore people have been elevated out of multidimensional poverty, what is the need to commit to another five years of food security? Does that show that the government's uh, promises are on very, very, very shaky legs? Absolutely not. That's a very false premise that Congress is trying to do. See, Congress basically wants three things. First, they want the entire food security program to be removed so that the poor can go and uh, new middle classes can once again get into a precarious situation. That fits totally into their way of thinking because they wanted poor to remain poor. They wanted to give the jumlas of Garibi Atau. Abhi, in fact, hmm. recently Mr. Rahul Gandhi has probably said somewhere that Ek jhatke mein Garibi Ata Denge. Ek jhatke mein if he says Garibi Ata Denge, then what were they doing for the 60 years of the rule of the family? Ji. These are the things which Congress always does. Congress wants that the PLI and manufacturing should be totally removed because they have seen the employment which has got created in manufacturing, so they want to make the people unemployed. Hmm. If people are unemployed, Congress politics can keep on going. That is the way Congress work, thinks. They wanted the infrastructure in border areas to be removed hmm. because they used to think, Congress used to think that if uh, infrastructure in border areas is done, that will not benefit us, that will benefit the other countries. Hmm. It is a very strange way of thinking that Congress has had and that is the reason why countries suffered for the 60 years. Hmm. You talk Last 10 years have been a change, Jay. big change for the country. You talked that's about what the we are building upon. You talked about the neo middle class but with someone who has middle class origins, I want to ask you does this manifesto have anything for the middle class? Because the Prime Minister while speaking to the gamers of this Absolutely. country, the future, he said by 2047 he wants to remove government from the middle class altogether. Is there a vision for the same here? Because Absolutely. the taxes largely are being paid by the middle class that funds most of these doles. Sir. Absolutely, there is a clear chapter on the middle class and a very clear action plan for the middle class. This next term, Modi ji's third term will be totally focused on providing homes to every middle class family. He has even promised 3 crore homes. Second, the investment which is being done in infrastructure that provides huge opportunities and quality of life for the middle classes. Metro is used by middle class, trains are used by middle class, new airports which are getting constructed are, constructed are giving new opportunities and better travel to the middle class. For the middle class employment, Modi ji has clearly given a guarantee for increasing the number of GCCs, the global capability centers, the hmm. global tech centers, the global engineering center, centers, increasing manufacturing in the country, increasing knowledge based economy increasing self self employment opportunities we have seen in the last 10 years how many startups have come in the, come in the country more than a 100000 ek lakh se jyada startups the yes. saal mein aaye more than 100 are unicorns so that kind of thing which is which was unthinkable that is all benefiting the middle class second mm. the investment done in social infrastructure especially in health and education mm. this is clearly benefiting the middle class and that we have again promised to take it to a totally new level. 350 hmm. universities done, 7 new IITs done. Imagine till 2014, the entire country had only 7 IIT, uh, sorry, 7, uh, seven hmm. AIMS. Now we have 18, uh, uh, 18 AIMS. 
metro has gone to 20 countries. So these are the things which are directly benefiting the middle class. Hmm. And this is going to be a major, major hmm. focus in the coming five years. Ashwini, the two aspects of the common civil code or uniform civil code and then thereafter also aspect uh, the other talking point of one nation, one election. Now, this one nation, one election, are you a votary of the same? Would you believe it's going to be beneficial? And in this current structure where we have an Aadhaar, Absolutely. we have a PAN card, where we have a voter ID card and this voter ID card, if I change locations, move from Delhi, Noida to Mumbai or Mumbai to uh, Bhubaneswar or Bhubaneswar to Hyderabad, then I am not eligible to vote in those areas unless I change my voter ID. So, in a scenario like this and plus every two, three months, six months, we have an election cycle. 2027 is Uttar Pradesh. So, if by 2029 you say one nation, one election, so will Uttar Pradesh in the next five years go to the ballot twice? These questions arise. How is it possible? See, the Covind committee has given a very clear recommendation and it has consulted practically everybody. Each and every political party has been reached out to, all the stakeholders have been consulted. Uh, this, uh, uh, this report is now in front of us. This will be studied and implemented. We are committed to one nation, one election, exactly for the reason that you said. Why the country should be facing election cycles again and again? We need to work meticulously to reach the level of a developed country. Next 25 years are very, very important for our country we can build a base which will keep us, keep the momentum for next many centuries. And we have had a glorious past and if we can build that kind of base, we will have a great future. We are very sure of that. Hmm. So why, why not look at every aspect of our life, whether it is political, social, cultural and make sure that the conditions on every aspect are created hmm. which lead us to that kind of future. Hmm. So that is why this very well thought out um, program has been drawn out hmm. and one nation one election is a commitment for us. Yes, it will require a lot of legislative and other changes and it will have to be implemented with a lot of care and thought that we are committed to do. But do you believe uh, as an astute, uh, you know, technocrat yourself and somebody who understands the complexity of doing something like this as an exercise that we have to move towards a single number system or a single social security system. And that is not possible till we have a census or an NRC. NRC had a mention in 2019 manifesto, this time around it is not being mentioned. So is it all possible without the back end being put in place, Ashwini ji? See, we are a democratic country and in our country, Whatever laws are made, we implement them. In our case, today the law has been passed by the parliament about CAA. Hmm. And that is for giving citizenship to people who were religiously persecuted. So that we are going to implement in a very proper way. Regarding the programs and schemes, a very clear digitalization has happened in the last 10 years. We have seen the benefits of that. We have seen the benefit of Aadhaar. We have seen the benefit of Jandhan. We have the, seen the benefit of UPI and DigiLocker. Hmm. We have seen how the cost of transactions have has come down from eight dollars to a few cents. That kind of progress we have seen. So now time has come when the entire base is available, which was prepared in the last ten years. This base can be used to build structures where people get all the benefits and they are able to exercise their franchise and they are able to get the basic services from the government as well as the private sector in a seamless digital fashion. Hmm. That is the direction we are already moving in. Hmm. I would like to say that that is that direction where there is a natural progression, where the efforts made by Modi ji in the first two terms are showing the result, are giving the results, is the direction in which we should move. Hmm. The common civil code, is there a structure to that already? Because the opposition says there is no draft, it is not being brought, it is not being tabled in parliament. How can you promise a common civil code uh, in line with the directive principles of our constitution? Common civil code is something which our constitution itself has mandated. Constitution has said that we must have a common civil code and BJP is an ideological party. We are an ideological party. From right from the beginning, from our Jansang days, we have already, we, we have always made some serious ideological commitments 
including the common civil code, including removing 370 which we have already done, including building, uh, uh, making sure that a grand temple, a Bhavya Mandir is built at the uh, birthplace of uh, Lord Ram which has been done by the Nyas now following a very good legal process. We have always believed in absolutely harmonious society, a Samaras Samaj is what we call where we believe that everybody should be treated as equals and that that promise we will continue and we will reach but that Kashi goal ka of our ideological SPG. journey. Ram Mandir to bana hai, lekin Mathura Kashi ka mention nahi hai. We have always followed a very clear legal as well as proper making sure that every stakeholder is consulted. That has been a process. Ji. In that process, Whatever work has been done, has been done as per the law and the constitution. Final word, Ashwini ji, you are in the thick of the BJP's campaign management. You are doing a lot of work. What do you think this time? 400 par will be Absolutely. People's trust is so clear. People's, the, 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 the work that Modi ji has done is so clearly visible. Ashwini Vaishnav ji, pleasure speaking with you. Thank you for your time here at CNN News 18. Thank you very much, sir. Namaste. Thank you.